Happy Easter, aka Resurrection Sunday. I hope you guys are having an amazing time hanging out with the family and eating some good food. If you're Jamaican, having your bun and cheese because I know that you guys do that. Today, I have a new music review and as promised, for this week's Chatty Sunday, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my second 90 Days of Momentum journey, which I am starting, well, it was supposed to technically start April 1st, but I'm starting it tomorrow on a Monday. April 6th is going down. So excited to highlight some of the goals that I have this time around with you guys. Um, so let's jump right into it. Yesterday, Beyonce released a new song called Die With You, um, which was dedicated to Jay-Z on their seven year wedding anniversary, which is super sweet and a great way to celebrate and honor their seven year anniversary. And a nice little <laughs> Easter treat for all of her fans up there. First of all, I literally listened to it probably a hundred times last night and I'm not even exaggerating. I found it on SoundCloud and I was working on my computer but I kept going back to click the play button again because I don't think they have a repeat. If they do, somebody leave a comment below and let me know how to get to it. But here it goes, I'm getting over my nerves. <laughs> Alright, I could just do it. I always get so nervous when I'm singing. Alright, okay. So it's just the chorus. Cause darling I wake up just to sleep with you. I open my eyes so I can see you with you. And I live so I can die with you. Cause darling I wake up just to sleep with you. I open my eyes. And I, 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 darling. Mm, mm, mm. Would you guys that part? I lost it. <laughs> oh, I, I, I. So the rest of it doesn't really go like that. I just added my little spin to it. But it's a really beautiful song. Check it out. Beyonce, mwah, we love you. Another job well done. But then again, when hasn't Beyonce done it for us? On to the next order of business. This second round of my 90 days of momentum journey. I'm so excited. I have a whole new slew of goals and things that I have for this next quarter of the year, just in time for my 28th birthday. So the first one that I have that I really, really, really want to tackle is finishing and completing the details and plans for my wedding. Uh, as you guys probably know from my first um, 90 days of momentum journey, that was a goal of mine, but I must admit that I wasn't very deliberate <laughs> in uh, making and finalizing a lot of wedding plans with all the other stuff that I have going on in life in terms of just trying to get that stuff together. I've really been putting it off. So no matter how it happens, I just want to make sure that this wedding is planned and things are really being put into effect by July 6th so we can know exactly what's happening and all that stuff. The next goal that I have is to increase my jewelry sales by $1,031, so a $3,000 increase by July. And while I started this in my first 90 days of momentum journey by trying to get a bunch of different boutiques, I think I got, five, was it five or six out of the 10 that I had declared I was gonna get? This go around, the focus isn't so much on getting new boutiques, but more so actually moving jewelry, whether I have it in the boutiques or not. The five boutiques that I added um, earlier this year with my initial 90 days of momentum journey was a great start and that will definitely help in getting to this thousand dollar goal. One of the things that I had highlighted that I had mentioned in my last 90 days of momentum was that I wanted to increase my subscribers by 30,000. Okay, maybe I wasn't being so responsible there, but dreaming big definitely made a difference because I didn't get the full thousand, but I definitely increased my subscribers by I think 600 or something like that. So it was a great start, um, but in being responsible and learning from the first go round, I'm definitely trying to hit at least a thousand subscribers um, by July 6th, which I think is more than doable, especially when you're putting huge declarations out there and putting action towards it and we'll see what kind of fun things happen to reach that goal this go around the next goal that i would like to talk about is getting headshots and getting an agent uh that wasn't a priority on my first 90 days of momentum but it's definitely something that i want to have happen this go around 
I feel like it's really important. I've been trying to do this hosting thing and finding gigs and stuff on my own, but it would just make more sense to have an agent that's partnering with me and trying to get those things going as well. So that way, hopefully, I have more highlights about awesome gigs that I'm getting as a result of that and just really putting myself out there and taking myself seriously so that I can get this hosting uh, situation in my career to the next level rather than trying to do everything by myself. Practice some vulnerability. The next goal is in my health and spirit and wellness portion. I do run on a somewhat consistent basis, but sometimes I feel like doing it, sometimes I don't. I just want to look good. But I feel like in concentrating on health and wellness and making sure that the body's right and tight for summer, I am committing this go around within the next 90 days to run at least three miles four times a week. So a total of at least a minimum of 12 miles a week. And with that goal, what I would like to do by July 6th or sooner is to register to run a half marathon. It's something that I've been talking about doing for months actually at this point. Last year when I was really running on a super almost daily basis um, from February to November, I kept talking about, oh, I'm going to run a half marathon, oh, I'm going to run a half marathon, and I'd run at least 12 miles in one sitting. So I knew that I could do it, and I kept talking about wanting to run the marathon, but I never registered for one. And what good is talking about things if you're not actually going to do it? Uh, the next goal that I have and the last one that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is that I want to volunteer again. Since I ended my last 90 days of momentum journey, I really haven't volunteered at all, but I found that it was one of the things that I enjoyed most from my first um, run of doing a 90 days of momentum journey, and I loved it. I met so many cool people. I had so many awesome opportunities to work with great organizations, and it just felt good. It felt right, and more than anything, it was awesome to know that I was helping people. So I'm committing to doing that again. That's it. Those are all the goals that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. I'm not going to be doing daily videos. I know, womp womp. You guys were so looking forward to them, weren't you? Some people are like, mm-mm. <laughs> but I am more than positive that you guys will be able to follow the results as they're happening. If you follow me on Instagram, at Erica Lasan, you'll be able to see all of the things that are being accomplished as I'm going through the journey leading up to July. I want to hear from you guys. Are you guys doing a 90 Days of Momentum journey? If you haven't, um, you sh definitely should. Life is waiting for us to show up and share our talents and live out our dreams one declaration at a time. So make a list of goals that you would like to complete yourself and then you know start working towards them every day and if you feel like you can't hold yourself accountable you should do it with somebody else and if anything celebrate the results that you're creating together if you guys don't know what a 90 days of momentum journey is check out this annotation over here where you can see scenes from my first 90 days of momentum as well as some of the things that I was able to accomplish along with my team. I think that's all that I have to share with you guys for this week's Chatty Sunday. I hope you guys are having an amazing holiday. Until next week, guys, live rich and happy train chasing. Leadership is a 90-day program that is supposed to create mind-blowing results, okay? Mind-blowing. Not just like crazy awesome, no mind-blowing results. Oh, it's 5.30, it's the Notori show. We have um, 40, 20 models, 40 looks, and uh, Shiseido is here. They actually flew in from Japan, and they're doing all the hair and makeup.